תמר, אוסקר, שלום, welcome to culture man. Thank you very much. So you are here, part of this program of exchange between Hungary and Israel, Liszt Academia and the Academy of Music in Jerusalem. And uh, uh, you both play the violin. Tell yes. us about uh, this project, what it means for you. Mr. <laughs> Mark, first. Ladies first, always. Um, well, what, what exactly they want to do? How did you, you uh, decide to be part of this, or how did it happen? Um, well, there's an a excellent project here in uh, the Academy, and uh, about 10 uh, players were chosen to participate in the project. Um, so I, I'm... Um, what does it mean? Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, what is it like? It's interesting because of the language difference. Mm -hmm. um, we, we communicate in English, but it's very interesting to hear the, the Hungarian and the Hebrew uh, we're, we're learning and they're learning as well. So. Exchanging languages yeah. as well as music? Yeah. Musical ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Musical ideas too. And, he, well, and how, how did you work? How are you? It was a very interesting. I mean, I'm a very big admirer of the Israeli uh, musical education and especially the violinist. I mean, since uh, Zuckerman and Perlman and I mean Ilona Fehir and it has, uh, they have their pedagogical roots in, from Hungary. It's really interesting how uh, the two countries' musical life developed very uh, sort of differently, but then again the same, the roots are always the same. The roots are always the musical ideas and what did the composer wanted behind the notes and so I was always a big admirer and I never dreamt that I would come here this at this young of age but uh, then they called me from the academy they asked me uh, we heard about you and would you like to participate in this project I said yes <laughs> and then I said what do I have to play that was my second question so first was of course and then well and then I ended up playing in the Dohnani quintet and well, it's actually it's wonderful because first of all <clears throat> so the roots are the same but we have different ideas and tell me a little bit about this difference which differences can you feel can you see well it's how can i say i don't know i i really can't it's like it's like a different language i cannot actually describe it but but i mean the the roots of the language are the same but it's like a different dialect, or how can I say? I mean, uh, in the way the people play the music, or yes, in the way the people, in the way we play. But then again, everybody's really open, so it's no problem, and mm -hmm. and we we really want to get the benefit the most out of the experience, and uh, because <clears throat> everybody suggests something, and then we you know think it through, we discuss it a lot, and then we try it perhaps, and and. Yeah, then we, we get the solution, because everybody's open-minded and really sincere, so... But so you think that maybe finally it will sound a little bit different than if all the quintet members were from Hungary? Of course, yes. of course. Yeah, of course it would. Because, I mean, especially since uh, if, if you have different teachers, that's also a big impact. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have people from here who studied with different people than, than I would have played in Hungary with these people. I mean, sometimes I don't even have to say something in Hungary because it's so... Uh, everybody would do it that way. But here somebody does it in a different way and maybe it's even better. It's also really nice and, and I say, yeah, of course. Why not? And which, uh, which uh, chamber group are you part of? Uh, I'm playing the Menos and Octet. Uh, so it's four of us and four of the Hungarian. Um, I actually find <clears throat> the, the common uh, things with them, because we all play music. Uh, the teacher is different than the teachers we have here. So that's the interesting part. Because um, the professor that teaches you there is from Hungary? Yeah. yeah. Um, I find it very interesting. Uh, 
learning different techniques and different perspectives of, of the music. Uh, but in the end of the day, it's it's music, the same art. So, yeah. Will you be part of the team that goes to Hungary next year? I don't think so. I'm yeah. not sure. Yeah. Okay. Is this your first time in Israel then? Oh yes, and I'm enjoying it really very much. And did you get, these do you guys have time are really to see great. The country a little bit? Or? Oh, the country no, but we went out to Jerusalem. They took us out. They're really nice. Like really, and, and it's really so... You mean they play music all day, but they also know where to go out? Yeah, to where to go, where yeah. there's happy hours, where we can, you know, have a nice pint of beer for less and everything, because... So yeah, it, it was really nice, and, and we went to the old city a little bit, yeah. and the new city as well, so the, like the center... It's really, it's an experience. I, I really, I, this is the furthest east I have ever been, and, and I really... I just can't get enough. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, we hope that uh, you enjoy the rest of the time and that uh, you take uh, our uh, Israeli uh, artists Definitely. out in uh, Hungary, in Hungary of course. to tear uh, Budapest apart yes, with yes. all the happy hours. Sure, sure. And that you yes. enjoy uh, the concert on Friday. Oh, I'm sure we will enjoy it. <laughs> There's not why not to enjoy it.